Hey folks, welcome to the second screencast about the American Revolution. We are going to talk in this second one about whether the changes of the American Revolution were permanent. I'll give you a hint, they were. We're going to figure out why. As always, your goal for this screencast is... By the end of this, you should be able to say, I can explain multiple reasons why the changes of the American Revolution were permanent and not temporary changes. Your proof for this will be in your notes, which can be in any form that works for you. So, why are we talking about this? Again, I think it's an interesting question to figure out why changes are lasting changes in revolutions and why some changes are not. Also, as I referenced in the previous second part of the Glorious Revolution screencast, your project at the end of this unit will reference how you can make changes that have occurred in the Arab Spring countries to be permanent changes as opposed to temporary changes. So, so without further ado, we know that the changes of the American Revolution were sticky changes, were changes that lasted, that stuck around for a while because the changes of the American Revolution created a lasting democratic government. And not only that, it's been a government that's been a model for numerous other revolutions. The, the documents of the American Revolution have been kind of fanning the flames of revolutions around the world in the ideas that they have about the equality of all people. So we know the ideas of the American Revolution stuck. Why though? Why did the ideas in the in the 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 practices behind the American Revolution stick? Several reasons. Um there was widespread appeal because the cause of the revolution was about increased rights for people in society. It wasn't rights for a small group of people. It was about rights for, or the call to the revolution was about rights for large groups of people within society. Also, the fighting ended after the British left. There was no fighting among the Americans after the revolution was over, or after the Revolutionary War was over. The British left and, and things kind of went back to calm. There was also respect for the rule of law after the end of the Revolutionary War. There was no post-Revolution revenge against British sympathizers. Um, people were allowed to kind of go continue their lives as this new government was figured out. A second reason why the American Revolution stuck, or a second set of reasons, was there was a balance of power within the government. There wasn't one person who had too much power. You had Montesquieu's idea of a separation of power with the creation of a legislative, a judicial, and a, an executive branch of the government. So there existed those checks and balances to make sure no one got too powerful. Also, the government started out weak under the Articles of Confederation, where the the federal government had very little power and states had most of the power and got stronger later. And even when the federal government got a little bit stronger later, the Bill of Rights was around to protect the rights of the average citizen. So there, there was not too much power in any one part of the new American government. Also, it's a similar structure of government. Um, it's important to note that there was no king or queen. There was no monarch. Um, and that the people of America gained representation through a legislative branch, but there existed kind of a, a legislative and an executive and a judicial branch in Great Britain while America was one of its colonies. The American colonists just didn't have any representation in that legislative branch or no way to kind of sway the, the king or queen into how they, into thinking kind of along the lines that would support America. Also, the leaders of America after the Revolutionary War were logical people. They didn't kind of come out of left field. George Washington was the commanding general of the Revolutionary War, of, of the American army during the Revolutionary War. So the, the people who, who came to power in America were logical people who had widespread support among the American population. So your goal for this screencast is by the end, by now, you should be able to say, I can explain multiple reasons why the changes of the American Revolution were permanent, not temporary changes. If you can do that, great. If you can't do that, rewatch this screencast, talk to somebody in class, talk to me, and hopefully we can clear up any questions. As always, your proof for the screencast, um, you will have to show, uh, and this is going to be notes, and the notes can be in any form that you like. Thank you for watching.